We'll now look at basic functions in PHP. Um, we're basically just going to define a function with uh, a couple of parameters and we're going to actually return a value from this function. And this function is going to be adding two numbers together, so nothing too tricky, but you'll understand the fundamentals of a function in PHP. So let's go ahead and define this function. I'm going to go ahead and give this the name add. Now you notice I've used the function keyword, the function name, which can't be a reserved word. Uh, so for example, it couldn't really be called echo. Um, and uh, well, we'll take a look at why. Let's just load this up in the browser. You see here it says unexpected echo. So you know at that point that you've used a reserved word. Add isn't is not a reserved word. We use parentheses which are going to contain our list of arguments or parameters that we want to pass to the function which will be accessible from within it and uh, we use a starting curly brace and an ending curly brace for the function block. So let's just take a look at how this might work. So let's echo out um, 5 and uh, we need to obviously call the function because as it stands um, we've registered the function but uh, we've not actually called it so we call the function just by using the function name and then parentheses like this so what's now going to happen is we'll just see the value 5 now what we are actually doing here is echoing 5 rather than returning 5 now functions really um, should return values rather than actually echo anything out. So what we want to do is we want to return 5. Now what this is going to do is when we call the function here, the function uh, will then contain the value that's been returned. Now you can only return once in a function. You can return multiple times, but once you've returned, that function will uh, cease to run the rest of the code underneath it. So if we do something like echo Alex here, you'll notice that when we run this, we don't actually see that output to the page because we've already returned a value from this function. If I was to place the echo above the return, uh, you would actually see this. So we, we would see echoing Alex, and then we actually return five. So for now, let's stick back to returning five. Now I'm gonna echo this function. So what this is gonna do is it will call the function, return the value five, then it will echo out the value so it's the same as really doing echo 5 so let's take a look at that in the browser and we see that we see the value 5 okay so now let's t take this up a little bit uh, more and we'll say let's define two parameters that we want to use within this function now we noticed that um, earlier when we were talking about variable scope that we have say for example num equals 5 we couldn't do something like return num because we would have to use the global keyword to make this num available. Now we don't want to do that because it's messy and it's completely unnecessary but if we do have a function we want to take uh, values that we can insert into the function or use in the function and then output. So I'm going to say num1 comma num2 and this tells the function that we are expecting two parameters to be passed to this function. So we could return num1 plus num2, for example. Now I'm going to go ahead and run this page without actually defining any parameters, and we'll see what we'll, we'll see what we get back here. We've got quite a few errors. Um, this error here relates to this, and this error here relates to this. And the reason being is that we have a warning here, missing argument 1, so that's the num1 for add, and it tells us where it's called, and then we have a missing argument two, and here we have undefined variables num1 and num2, and that's because um, we are trying to access these variables that haven't been defined yet. So what we can do is then go ahead and pass two numbers in, so I'm gonna pass in five and 15, and that will satisfy the requirements for the function parameter list, and therefore it will return us with 20. Now what we can actually do to avoid this is we can actually give default values to parameters. So let's say we want these by default to be zero. What happens if we call add now without defining a number? Now we're not actually going to get the error because we've already defined the, uh, the, uh, uh, the default values and therefore this will be zero add zero, which is obviously zero. So now we just see the value zero. So it might make sense that when you're building a function to actually give a default value, whether that be a zero, an empty string or any other data type, to then allow your function to be called with no parameters and return perhaps some kind of default value. So in this video we've looked at adding two numbers together using a function that we've created in PHP with default values. We've returned the results, we've seen what happens within our function, how we can return things, and then we're just echoing out 
the return value of this function. 